it's like 5.30 in the morning. And everybody else in Backpacker Camp is still sleeping. So, I tried to pack up as quietly as I could, which did not happen because Tyvek is impossible to pack quietly. Mm -hmm. Headed to the car to drive to Mammoth to get on trail. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're here in Mammoth. And the shuttle literally is going to stop right there. But I still need to go buy a ticket. We got off on the shuttle at Devil's Post Pile. Um, I actually have to backtrack a little bit in order to be able to see Devil's Post Pile, but I'm gonna because I've never seen it. So I'm gonna do that and then I will meet up with the JMT. Devil's Post Pile, and now we are on the little connector trail that leads to the JMT. Okay, we're at the intersection. That is the JMT. That is the PCT, the Pacific Crest Trail. And then that is the JMT PCT combined. This is one of the only places where the JMT and the PCT split. Um, but they'll join back in together. I a waterfall, but I can't see it yet. Also, all of these little puffy clouds are going to turn into thunderstorms as the afternoon goes on. So you got to keep an eye on that. This is the first real creek crossing of the trip. The trail continues over there. We did not have to get wet and we did not have to take our shoes off because there's a handy dandy log bridge that goes over that creek. It is 11 a.m. somehow already and we've reached the junction. That way goes to Minaret Lake. That way is the JMT. So this is a little side trip I'm doing. I'm gonna go spend the night at or near Minaret Lake and then loop back to meet up with the JMT tomorrow. This is why you keep an eye on the sky when you're in the Sierra. Because those cute little puffy white clouds from an hour and a half ago are already forming thunderheads. Stopping for my first pack off break. We are at almost five miles and um, having a snack. I keep getting a little blood sugar, so eating something and just really kind of enjoying the trail. It's kind of gorgeous out here. We have about eight or eight miles total. We have about three miles left to do. That is our first view of the Minarets mountain range. Holy crap, they're gorgeous. We are almost to camp for tonight, and by camp for tonight, I mean this lake. Um, Minaret Lake that we're going to. Whew. Climbing some switchbacks. There haven't been many switchbacks this trail. Um, but this section is kind of steep because we're climbing up and over kind of like, I don't know, this rocky buttress that's holding the lake in. 
Um, hang on, I'll show you. So we're climbing up that. We came from, we've been walking up the canyon all day. <clears throat> but you can see the trail down there. A lot of climbing up here. Minaret Lake is not yet visible, but it will be, I think, pretty soon. We made it to the lake. Now I am looking for a camp spot. I passed a couple already, but there were people like really close by. And I figure there's gotta be ones without a bunch of people, hopefully. Or I'll be going backwards, we'll find out. Ignoring the hair, it's fine. I just broke my tent pole. Um, I don't even know what happened. I was just setting it up like normal. And yeah. So luckily I have this guy with me. Never had to use it before, so we're gonna figure it out. But I think the theory is it goes on like this and then maybe I'm gonna have to tape it or something. Um, and it'll keep my tent pole straight so that it'll have the correct integrity. But on night one of my trip, that's not great. Oh well. I guess this is why you always carry your emergency repair kits, right? Okay, so I slid this on here. It didn't want to go over the brake, but I made it. And now I'm just taping it. Some people carry duct tape. I carry an entire roll of Luco tape because I've had really bad blisters in the past and because this stuff is every bit as strong as duct tape. Um, and it actually stays on like sweaty hands and feet and stuff a lot better than duct tape does. Plus you can use it for stuff like this. So anyway, so I'm using my Luco tape to tape it on. Um, but I have to leave a gap up here because this has to be able to come out of that connection and like stretch so that I can fit it back in my pull bag. Here we go. Emergency field repair done. Hopefully this thing lasts another six nights. All right, so this is camp so far. Got my tent and the rain fly set up because it's kind of looking like maybe it might rain on us. We'll find out. Um, got my belated lunch cold soaking right there in my Talenti jar. Gotta give it about half an hour more. And I've got my charging block, solar charging while we have light and no rain. It is super freaking windy. Um, I got out of all my wet stuff and put on my puffy because my stuff was all sweaty and I was getting cold. So, um, but I'm gonna go get some water before it possibly potentially maybe rains as it looks perfect overhead right now. Yeah, I know. Uh, but there have been like some nasty clouds around the area and I don't wanna be anywhere near a lake if there's a thunderstorm, so. Lunch time, pasta salad. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but I just pulled this book off the front bungees of my backpack. I did not mean to bring this book backpacking with me. Um, I had it in backpackers camp last night, I was reading it, and I meant to stop by my car on the way to the trailhead this morning and drop it off. Clearly, that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, now I have a whole book to carry. It's like a pound or something too. But I mean, on the plus side, I was only half done with it. So I have like something to read. Yeah, I am super annoyed right now. I got some neighbors after I set up my tent site, which is fine. Like, neighbors are fine. They're not, like, super, super close to me, but they are, like, I can hear them talking, and they can probably hear me right now. 
Um, but the neighbors are playing music, loud country music on some sort of portable speaker. And I'm like, this is not what I hiked into the wilderness for. If I wanted to listen to my neighbors play music, I would just stay home because they do that shit all the time at home. So I'm annoyed, but I'm also telling myself it's just one night on a trip. And hopefully tomorrow night will be quieter. Probably not. Anyways, it's also hiker midnight slash bedtime. Actually, I think it's probably uh, a little bit before hiker midnight. I tend to go to bed really early when I'm out here. So I don't even think it's died yet. And I'm like snuggled in for the night. <laughs> Hoping I'm going to be warm. Last night I slept in my shorts and t-shirt and I didn't even use my quilt and tonight I'm in my base layers and I've got my quilt all tucked in and I might put this hoodie this puppy on that I've got under my head right now I just was just propping up my head to read but I might put the puppy on because it's windy and it's higher elevation and it's definitely colder than it was last night so all right that's it for day one signing out